Hi, I'm Keith Garcia from Team Safari Land. Got a few tips and tricks for you today when you're setting up your patrol belt. Whether you're a police officer, a military policeman, a security guard, while you're setting up your patrol belt, there's a few things that you need to be aware of. First thing I'm gonna do is show safety first here. I have a clear and empty weapon. All right, what I see a lot of times when people set up the patrol belt for the first time, they take and they put the holster too far to the rear. What you, basically the gauge is this. When I go to draw the weapon, I don't want my shoulder to have to move to the back. I don't want to have to flex it to the back. I just want to raise my hand and put it on the gun here. That way I can get a clean, fast, and efficient draw stroke. If I have to reach backwards, it's just an excess movement that I don't need. Another thing comes into play too. If I need, if I, worst case scenario, my strong arm goes down, I get hurt in some capacity, and I need to draw the gun with my support hand, then I need to be able to get around to it. With all, and get it up into the fight. So with a holster that's too far back, it makes it even harder. We've got vests we're wearing, we've got patrol vests. A lot of times people are carrying uh, the gear on the front of the patrol vest, and it makes it real difficult. So make sure when you're setting up your patrol belt, your holster's positioned right, in the, right to the front of the point of the hip. That way, when I raise my shoulder, or I raise my hand to the gun, my shoulder doesn't move, and I can also get to it and get a fluid draw with my non-dominant hand should the need arise. It's Keith Garcia for Team Safari Land. We'll see you on the range.